feel like you're working really hard towards a goal that you have and you're pushing and pushing and pushing, but it's just a constant uphill battle. I'm Hannah Mason, and in today's Spark, we're going to be exploring the limitations of a double bind. I'm going to get like super crazy vulnerable here and share something that I'm even scared to share with myself, but I'm kind of hoping that through this video, somehow I'll gain a certain sense of clarity. So uh, my husband Dave and I have a mastermind with another couple who we absolutely adore, who live in the neighborhood. And we meet once a week and have lunch. We take turns hosting lunch. It's really fun. And we each talk about our different businesses and what we're doing and offer each other feedback and accountability and What's really amazing is a, a, a real level of like honesty and cut to the chase with something that I'm really good at and that I appreciate. And yesterday when I was in the hot seat, it was like, oh, so stressful. Um, I was so, so blessed that every single person in the room but me was being super honest and super cut to the chase and telling me about the challenges that I'm having in my business right now. And I didn't get defensive because I knew that they were absolutely right. And yet at the same time inside, I had so much internal turmoil, not because my friends were giving me a hard time that I super duper appreciated, but because the hard time that they were giving me was making me feel internally incredibly conflicted. So what did they say anyway, right? So what they said was that there's a lack of clarity in my business. It's not 100% clear who it is I'm coaching, who's my ideal coaching client, and what it is exactly that I do. So by nature, I'm a generalist. I happen to be passionate about, you name the topic, so many things, everything from business to technology to education, and health is a huge interest of mine. So when I meet with clients, I tend to dabble in all of these different areas, really depending on my client's needs. Now, that's really amazing when I'm actually meeting with a client, but it becomes very challenging from a marketing perspective because maybe with you guys, and maybe you're already experiencing this, and I would love to hear your honest feedback below, you're not exactly sure what it is I do either. And as soon as they said it inside, there was a voice that said, yeah, what the hell do you do? And who exactly do you work with? And do you have any focus whatsoever? And so as soon as they said that to me, my internal voice was like, yep, they're right. So what was the hard part? I was trying to figure that out. And as they're speaking, I'm, I found myself like so internally conflicted to the point that I wanted to cry. And I was trying to figure out why am I so upset? Why is this so difficult? And finally, something started coming up to the surface. And that is that the more focused and honed in I get in my message about what I do and who it is I most can help, I feel like I'm that much more vulnerable to people being able to point at exactly that thing and say, oh no, she can't do that. She sucks at that. Whereas if I kind of say I dabble in a bunch of stuff and I'm sort of like half-assed or whatever, then people can look at me and say, oh, well, yeah, that's kind of okay. They have nothing clear to point at. And it feels a lot less vulnerable. And so I have to be honest, I'm still sitting with the incredible discomfort of not exactly having so much clarity on this issue because I love working with lots of different people. But if I'm really, really honest, at the center of what I'm super passionate about, what I've thrown myself into more than anything else is what's in this book. This book is the product of my having spent over a decade working on the craziness that is the human mind, and in particular, my mind. And by working on my mind and working on my thinking and trying to understand how is it that we work and in working with people and helping them understand how their minds work and being able to just so quickly identify mental patterns. Like I hear someone speaking and boom, boom, boom. I've got like belief after belief after belief that I'm listing out and I'm starting to see like logical trains that they've put together that they don't, that they don't consciously understand. I can see all of that stuff. I've gained an understanding 
of how thinking works and how we can get out of the messes that we're in so that people can have aha moments. And those are my favorite. I love aha moments. And Dave said something really interesting because as I was sitting there being so uncomfortable, being like, I have no idea. Dave said um, to our friends, he said, you know, Hannah all the time is kind of like insecure and she doesn't really know what she does. But when she gets off the phone with a client, she'll like leap out of her office and jump into mine and say, whoa, that totally rocked. <laughs> and I think that high for me comes when I'm in the presence of watching someone else grow, someone else have clarity and have an aha moment. And that I think, as I'm speaking it out right now, that I think is really my strength. If you find that your brain is constantly a men mental jumble, if you find that you don't know exactly how to gain clarity, if you find that you yourself are stuck in double binds, that on the one hand, you want to be really clear about what your business is about and be able to really reach people so that you can best serve the people who are just right for you, and on the other hand, feel like, oh, it's so scary and vulnerable to be super clear and direct. I was stuck in a double bind, like being clear made me vulnerable and being vulnerable was scary. So rather than being stuck in this kind of place, right, just like I can help people like you when you're stuck in all of your mental stuff. So I got to help myself. And so right now I'm talking this out with you right now so I can gain that kind of clarity. And I think what's coming for me right now is the same thing I've been saying in the past few videos. T. Harv Ecker talks about one of the challenges that people have who have a poverty mindset is that they tend to think that life is either or. I can have a job and have food or I can have my freedom and be poor, right? That it's like people get stuck in an either or. And T. Harvecker says that people with a wealthy abundance mindset think in both. How can I have my food and my, you know, take care of my body's needs and my family's needs and have a roof over my head and at the same time experience freedom. How can I do both of those, right? So for me, it's the same thing. How can I experience a tremendous amount of clarity and directness in my marketing and in my messaging to you all amazing people and at the same time not feel scared? And I realize what it comes down to in this very moment, I'm realizing it is that the more vulnerable I am and the more real I am with my audience and the more willing I am to expose myself, somehow that's what you guys respond to the most. The messages that I've given out when I've communicated myself in the most open and vulnerable ways, those are the times that people are like, wow, I really saw myself in that video. You were talking to me. Somebody just pulled me over on the side of the street the other day, gave me a kiss on the cheek and said, I, I felt like you were talking right to me. And the only way that I can do that is when I'm super raw and honest and vulnerable. So for, I think, the first time, I'm going to say that Hannah Mason does coaching for clarity and peace of mind. That's what I'm kind of playing with right now at the moment. This is what's coming to me. And maybe tomorrow you'll hear something new. Um, but I think that this is like a huge passion project of mine. And although I love all of these other areas and I'm so happy to work with people in all of those other areas, can I take the risk and have the guts to say, this is the thing that I do. And if you guys, friends who are our mastermind people happen to be watching this video, I just wanna say thank you. And for the rest of you, if you're looking for a coach who can help you find mental clarity, help you organize your thinking, I know that I can help you do that. If you're interested in setting up a discovery session, you can contact me here on Facebook or on my website at hanamason.com. In the meantime, I wish you a beautiful day. Take care. Want to experience more clarity, vibrance, and joy in your life? Book a discovery session with Hana at hanamason.com slash joy.